Hi there guys, today I'm going to talk a bit about the Arduino oscilloscopes and you'll see a lot of them if you search for them on both YouTube and Google. And I found a lot of them don't work or the code don't work with my current Arduino platform. So here's a video of what currently works in December 2014. So my first one was using the Arduino Uno and a small, this is called a monochrome 0.96 inch uh, OLED display. <laughs> and they work great, great, sorry. And this one is hooked up to uh, I squared C. So I got a ground and a sensor pin. And as you can see on the picture I'm posting up here, uh, it works great for telling what type of signal you're receiving. But it's not really that great for actual uh, measuring. Uh, it's very hard to see on the small screen. But it got a trigger pin, so that's cool. But it didn't really suit my purpose. And the main problem to upgrading this was uh, I need a bigger screen. So I went on eBay and found this thing. It's a 2.4 inch uh, TFT touch screen, actually. I don't care about the touch, I'm not going to use that. And it has sort of a SD card slot on the back. I'm not going to use that either. However, this is built as a shield, so it fits perfectly on a uh, Uno, as you can see. There we go. My uh, you know, <clears throat> sorry, screen. However, there's one problem. <laughs> I can't access the pins I need now. Uh, of course, the screen is not going to use all of the pins, and especially since I'm not using the SD card, I have four additional pins free. That was a problem. So I moved on to using uh, the Arduino Mega instead, as you can see. And it's an R3 as well. That means it's the same size factor, revision 3. <clears throat> and I got all these spare pins out here. This model is the one I'm using now. And I got a 5 volt outage in case I need to power something. My ground, always ground things you're measuring. And the great thing with the Mega is now I can measure at two channels at the same time as you can see on the pictures. Uh, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> However, getting the code, <laughs> instead of programming my own uh, oscilloscope, which would take forever because I wouldn't know how to begin and I would need to find out a lot of things. <clears throat> I tried a lot of the different oscilloscopes out there. Uh, sorry, not oscilloscopes, but codes for them. And many of them don't actually work, or, or there's all sorts of problems. So I found one that works from a Japanese side, and it's great. It just had to be modified a bit. And it's using the Swift Shield library. So the only f reason at first it wasn't working at all. It wouldn't even light up the screen. I was like, well, that's shit. That's because inside the library installation folder, let's go from front, right click your Arduino EDE, open file location, libraries, and scroll down to Swift. Where is it? The Swift Shield. There is one called Swift.cpp. Open it with anything that can open it. And there is this thing right here. You need to include or sorry, uncomment the Mega Shield and then comment out the Uno Shield. That way you are going to switch from Uno to Mega and it works. <laughs> That's the best part. So, of course, if you're using the Uno, don't do that. Make sure the Mega Shield is uncommented out. <coughs> the code itself is a it's a a bit tricky, but uh, whoever designed it did a great job because he included a lot of uh, comments in the code. Uh, unfortunately, he did not include his name or <laughs> uh, 
his website, but I'll I'll find it for you. <clears throat> but I was yeah, right here in the top you have a switch pin and channel pins. And these channels I have of course on the Mega has moved uh, because the original ones are unavailable because of the display. Next part is down here. Uh, let's see. Somewhere. There we go. In the range right here, it says mode on. By default, it's set to mode off, so you have to switch it to on. <clears throat> Once that's done, upload it to the Arduino and you'll get the entire thing running. That's all you need to do. Really hope that helped you out. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.